This is Into Math for Second Grade, Module 15, Lesson 1. We will start on page 359. We will learn to solve addition word problems. The I can statement is I can write an equation and use it to solve addition word problems. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 359. We will start under Step It Out. Kara has some stamps in her collection. She gets 24 stamps from a friend. Now she has 56 stamps. How many stamps does Kara have to start? Okay, let's take a look at part A. Choose the operation you will use to solve this add to problem. Think, how can I find the number of stamps Kara has to start? Let's take a minute to look at our connective vocabulary. Addition and subtraction are operations. Here are some examples. In the equation 21 plus 42 equals 63, the operation is addition because we are adding two numbers together. In the equation 63, take away 21 equals 42, the operation is subtraction because we are taking away a number from another number. Okay, so we will be using an addition equation to add to this problem. Now let's take a look at part B, complete the bar model. So we have the total number of stamps here, which is 56, which we were told, and we have the 24 stamps that she received from a friend here. So our unknown number is going to go here. So to solve this bar model, I can start with the number 24 and count on till I reach the number 56. That's one way for me to solve this equation of what the unknown part is here. Another way for me to solve this equation is to start with 56 and count down until I reach 24 and find the difference. So you can choose to, um, to complete this bar model however you like if you wanna pause and come back. And when you do come back, you will find that the difference between um, 24 and 56 is 32. So we have found that 32 and 24 make the total of 56. Now we need to write an equation to show the problem. So before we had an unknown number plus 24 that we knew was going to make the total of 56. And then when we solved this equation, we found that 32 plus 24 makes 56. So we have now solved the question, how many stamps does Kara have to start? And we can answer that Kara has 32 stamps to start. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next page, page 360 under Step It Out, number two. Georgia has 39 pennies. She has seven fewer pennies than Grayson. How many pennies does Grayson have? First part A asks us to choose the operation you will use to solve this compare problem. Think, how can I find the number of pennies that Grayson has? Let's review the word problem. We know that Georgia has 39 pennies, and then it tells us that she has seven fewer, so that's seven less than Grayson. And our job is to find out how many Grayson has. So if I know what she has, and I know the difference between what she has and what Grayson has, then I'm gonna put those two together. So I'm gonna use an addition equation. So here we have write an equation to show the problem. So I'm going to take the number of pennies that she has, 39, and I'm going to add them to the number of pennies that are fewer from what Grayson has, because I wanna find out what does Grayson have. So my equation is 39 plus seven equals the unknown 
which is the amount of pennies that Grayson has. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. 39 plus seven equals, maybe you'd like to pause uh, this video and try this on your own, or you can follow along with me. We have 39 plus seven. I add the ones column, nine plus seven, and I get 16. So I write six in the ones column and put the other 10 in the tens column. Now I add one plus three and I get four. So I get 39 plus seven equals 46. And now I have solved the question, Grayson has 46 pennies. Excellent work. Let's go ahead and check for understanding. Problem one, write an equation to solve the problem. Matt collected some shells last week. He collects 33 shells this week. Now he has 61 shells. How many shells did he have to start? You're welcome to pause the video and try this on your own and come back to check your answer or just follow along with me. So we know that he collected 33 shells this week and his total is 61 shells. So we're wondering how much he, how many shells he had to start. We know that there's a total of 61 shells collected. We know that Matt had 33 collected in one week, but we don't know what he started with. So this is our unknown that we're trying to find. And so the way I'm going to choose to find this is I can start with the number 33 and count on to 61 to find that difference. And when I solve this equation, I find that 28 plus 33 makes 61. So I know that Matt had 28 shells to start. Great job. If you would like to go back and rewatch this video, you may do so and you can pause anytime as needed.